Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in yesterday's video, we looked at a recovery with a UFI system for our Grub installation. And today we are gonna do the same for the BIOS MVR systems. So let's get going. So here we are again on the GNOME desktop and let me pull up a terminal. And let me go here full screen and increase the font size. So I want to show you the configuration of this PC. This is a BIOS MBR system. So let me type in LSPLK. And you see here we have just very simply one swap partition and one root partition. There is no EFI partition. So we are on an MBR BIOS system here. And I want to now intentionally destroy the grub installation on this system so that we can go ahead and repair it. So let me clean up the terminal and I'll switch to the root user by typing in SU and then a dash and hit enter and enter my password. And now let's navigate to the boot directory by typing in cd-boot and hit enter. And I'll type in ls to list the files inside the boot directory. And as you can see here, we have a grub directory and I want to delete that. So let's type in rm-rf. This is going to remove recursively the grub directory and then grub and hit enter. Now let's type in ls again and the grab directory is now gone. So let's exit the root user and close the terminal. Now let's try to reboot the machine here. And of course it will fail because grab is not anymore there. There you go. So let me turn off now this machine and I need to boot again from the Arch ISO. So I'll switch off the machine here. This is simulating anyway a PC and I'll attach my ISO here on the CD which is right here and click apply and just want to make sure that the boot options are correct which seems to be the case so I can boot up the machine and again I'll go full screen here and I'm greeted from the Arch ISO so I'll just boot Arch Linux here and there you go we are ready to type in so let me first clean up the terminal and let's type in lsplk to see our disk again so the first thing we need to do is to mount VDA2, which is our installation directory. We don't have to worry about VDA1 because this is swap and we don't need to mount that. So let's mount VDA2 by typing in mount slash dev slash VDA2. And the directory is, of course, slash mount our installation directory and hit enter. Now we can already enter the installation with the arch root. So we'll type in arch dash root and then dash MNT and hit enter. And now we can proceed by installing grub again. And to do this, we'll type in grub dash install. And then we define the target. So we'll type in dash dash target equal. So this is an MBR BIOS system. So the target is not the same as UEFI. So for the MBR BIOS system, we'll type in I386 dash PC. And then we specify the disk, not the disk partition, but the disk. So we'll type in slash dev slash VDA and hit enter. There you go, installation finished, no error reported. Now we can regenerate the configuration file, so we'll type in grub-mkconfig-o and then slash boot slash grub slash grub dot cfg. So we are outputting the configuration into the grub.csg file under the grub directory, under the boot directory and hit enter. And there you go. So now we are actually done. So we need to exit the installation and return to the installer. So we'll type in exit and hit enter. And now we can unmount all the partitions by typing umount a and finally reboot the machine by typing in reboot and hit enter. And we are still booting in the ISO because it's still attached to the system, but we can scroll down here to boot existing OS and hit enter. And our grub bootloader is there up and running and let's enter the installation now and enter my password here and we are back in the desktop so this is how you can recover your arch installation by reinstalling grub on an mbr system I hope you liked the video guys, if you did please hit the like button below and subs to the channel if you haven't already, subs really helps us out guys. And if you want to support the channel please visit our Patreon website. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.